Welcome back to Factorio Megapains in a Book. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing on this glorious concept of, uh, what is it called? Direct mining. And uh, I've done a bit of work between sessions, as I am wont to do. And uh, I've set up this one. This is uh, much more refined than what we had last time. Last time we had, in my opinion, too many crossing things because I'd kind of mixed up the inputs and out, had the inbounds and outbound trains and then I kind of had to hack it together at the end. But what I've done here is, as you can see, it, it looks very neat and it's certainly very active so let's uh, unfortunately there is a downside to it i had to sort of take it off for a good while and while taking it off and uh, that means we are struggling to keep up and we've run out of low density structures and running out of low density structures means we run out of uh, of rockets which means we want we run out of white science so science is in the dumpster right now let's see how much in the dumpster is it? Yeah, so this is when I started working on it and suddenly it hasn't been able to keep up and maybe hopefully it'll start uh, picking back up again. The way that I've found out that it works really well is if we like take a look at this, I have 17 stops. How does that match wise uh, 17 trains? That is four here. There are four stations and there are 10 input stations. So 10 input stations plus four, plus four in a buffer here, that's 18. And then I have to take one less because there always has to be somewhere that a train can go out. As long as that one of the trains can go out, then it can it can always come in. So for example, this one, as soon as it starts going out, it also empties here. And then the next one backfills. There's a chance that it's the one that's empty that backfills. And that means a slight gap. But in any case, as you can see here, it goes pretty quickly. At least at this point, you can see this is the only one that's open. So this is the one that gets assigned. So which one will be the one to leave? They are all idle and also uh, in terms of sort of numbers, all of this is now, I have now nine stops and they are now turned the other way. So they are turned downwards. And uh, the reason why I turn them downwards is because this go, you can see it here, this train here, it comes in and goes down here. It's just so much nicer and neater way of, uh, of working because then it fits with the right hand drive in and right hand drive out. And this one comes in again. You can see they're actually working pretty well and uh, just rough numbers. It was 5.025 times 16. That's 80.4 80 per, 80 per second. And then I have nine of that. So this one is, is producing a total of 730, uh, 723 iron or copper plates per second. So that's a pretty good amount. It's not at all what we need down here, but it's, it's something. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to... Um, we're going to make sure that we update all of this. I'm actually going to do this part first, even though it might sort of conflict with some other things. It's not going to be using our buffer chest setup, but hey, I want to get that one sorted. There we go. I've now tanked our updates. What we want to do today is, uh, first of all, figure out how to do more of these and figure out how to sort of transition all of it like this. But first, we, I've just put in some... Oh yeah, I'm running on tracks now, I know. I put in some some fuel here and that's of course not going to work because I need to make sure that there is a dedicated fuel location. So how could I do that? I could do it right here. I think I think that's actually a cool place. Like do it a little. Um, it has to come into this part. Oh no. Huh. That's bad. That's just not bad, but it's annoying. It would be nice if this one was just one tile off. Hmm. Yeah. Just, alternatively, I'd have to do this. Yeah. But let's... Let's do this one. Now that gets you as another intersection. But this intersection is very, very rarely doing anything. So I'm not so worried about it. I just have to make sure that it's not broken in any stupid way uh this one that one and i don't really care about this part here oops oh that's not definitely not a good idea yeah we can take this out there and oh you know what there's actually a good way to do this. Ah, that's a that's a good idea. 
So what is this? What is this miserable thing I've made here? That is going to be our location for... We have it everywhere. That weird thing here. Let's build it. There. Except we don't need this one, I think. No, we don't need that. And does that work? I think it just works like this. Uh, there. There. Yes. Yes. And then let's make sure that we have these tracks. There. I'm going to leave all of this empty. I'm not going to put signals here. Because I actually want it to go from here. If it goes into this block, then it goes all the way in. Yep. Is anything coming into this one? Hmm. Why not? Why not indeed? Uh, it says it's heading to... Odd. What are you doing? Oh, you're waiting. You're waiting. Okay. Yeah, we've been summoning so many trains that we're actually running out of fuel. This is just not keeping up. Really need a few more of this. So what if I did... Hmm. I can... I can just do this, right? That one goes out, and then I take this one and put it in here, and then take that out, right? I, I think I, I should have all the construction materials I need for that, so that should double our speed of this. I really didn't think that would be a problem, but I guess it is. Oh, well, that'll fix itself eventually. I am going to... I'm going to take one of these. How many do... How much do we have here? 30 and 30 and... 30, and this one is 35. Okay. Uh, go out to one of them. Which one? Please go up to ours. No. It's actually stalling for a lot of reasons. I wonder how many of these stations are actually open. Uh, how do I do that? I click here. I have 69 of those stations. That doesn't really tell me anything. I have to go up here. Stations. And look at the nuclear fuel stations. That one. There are four open stations and one train allocated to it. That's a guess. That's what it means, right? There's one of four trains available. So there can be four trains coming in, but only one train is heading in. And if I look at this, I can't see which ones are open. Well, I can, but I'd have to sort of randomly scroll through that one. And then some other ones have zero of one, like that one has zero of one. Let's have a look at it just to see if it works. It's correct. Yes, it is. It does have a bit, but it doesn't have enough. All right. Well, that actually makes sense. And we have a quite a busy robot build here. And which also explains why this is never going to happen. Well, it is going to happen, but it's just, yeah, it's going to take a while. I wonder if they're actually allocated or not. Uh, I don't think my these robots can uh, have the centrifuges. No, they don't. No centrifuges here. But, you know, well, it, at some point it'll get there. Okay, now it's just blinking. Okay. That is what it is. Uh, this part here, what is going on with it? What is going on? Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That is a problem. That's a problem. Has to be definitely on the wrong side. I wonder what that actually meant. Just making sure that... There we go. I can take this on that side. And I can take this here. Good. Hold on. What does it actually look like on the other parts? Where's my fuel? My fuel. I have fuel for everyone. This one. Ah, there we go. I need that. There we go. This is only up to 10. That's good. I'll put that in here. Okay, let's just... There. 10. So this area has 10 robot ports, and all I need to do now is make sure... Oh no, I think I might be in, in trouble on this one. Oh no, it can be done. I can place it here. Oh, I'm going to get run over by a train for sure. Here. 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 I have no idea where the trains are coming from. It's just complete mystery. I'm just... I'm just running and hoping that 
some of the trains are not coming straight at us. There, there's a train coming straight at us. And so I'd like to build it here. Oh, I can. Oh, that's awesome. That's really awesome. Nice. All right, so let's go to the other side now. All of this area is actually ready. And what I can do now, or what I should be doing is this part. And I'll just have a single one of these here. And that will just be the same everywhere because it needs to put into all the stations. Wow, that's a lot of stations we have here. I keep thinking, oh, this must be the last one. This must be the last one. There we go. All right, so that's good. Let's uh, have a look at from this side. I want to make sure that it's not connected. And then I'll basically do the same thing. You know, it would be better if it was like this. Oh. What? One, two, see that? Hmm. I guess we can have three in between or two in between. I'll, I'll just, oops. I'll remove this. Which gives me more chances to get on over, which I know is what you are... Oops. There. Take that out. There. Take that out. There. Take that out. And then it fits. One, two between. Two, 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 two. There we go. Alright, I'm going to run down the side here and do the same thing at the bottom. I hope. Oh, that's going to be a bit different, isn't it? Because I can't make it... Right there, so I have to make it one in here. This is if I survive this, it is pure luck. And good, and then I need to make sure that it's connected there. All right, so now we have a connection here that makes sure that we have fuel for all of our trains at this point it is not technically necessary because these will always be fueled at the loading location as well but you know we want to be uh, superfluous on this and we want to make sure that we have everything here uh, what we do not have is the setup here i think that's going to be where we want it there yeah I like the fact that they are going opposite directions of each other, the two types of trains. Undo and there. Now, this is obviously not working until we get trains inbound. And this one is still open and not a damn train has come in here yet. Well, we do have some. Huh. That's weird. There you go. Look at that. They're actually doing stuff. How about that? And now it's empty. <laughs> and this one is uh, open again. I could obviously drop off more every time, but uh, don't really feel that's super necessary. This is still going to be the issue. Is this done? Yeah, this is done. So now we have a double production of this. It's, it's helping, I guess, but is it helping enough? I don't know. I think it's only like right now we're having issues with it. Uh, this is, it's on a second, sec 60 second cycle. I'm just kind of wondering if so you're 30 here. I wonder if it's also these, uh, these are already fine because that's the uh, extra trains. Ah, they should be coming in here. Nothing is en route for these. What is that? All right, I'm gonna do one more. I don't think that has been that was when we needed lots and lots of drones. Oh, you're going to be taking that one on top. So you're going to have my spider trons do the work. The heavy lifting. No? Not really. I should have left them inside here. Doesn't matter. That means something is going to be built here. And unfortunately, what's happening is that they... Yeah, I don't know about this. This It's just taking some time. Doesn't matter. All right, what we need to do as well is this part needs to be fueled, and that's way more important. Uh, 
And how do I want it? Like that. Sure. And... Take that out. I'm actually thinking maybe this is better. Oh yes. Yeah. I don't know. On the third from the back. Sure. Let's put it in there. Oh, man. The, the me running around like an idiot here. That's so crazy. Uh, there. Got it. All of this is done. And we have power. What we do not have is... Fuel. Go to the front. Alright. And again, we are just missing one piece of it. Oh no, the logistics system is not good. It must have merged. It has not merged. Let's look at it again. Is it merged? Nope. All of this is one, but it's not merged to the other. So it's perfect. Why is it then? Oh, that's that's my inventory. It was looking at it was looking at my inventory because that becomes part of the storage. Great. All right. I like it. That means this one is done. The problem is that I can't just copy paste this to somewhere else. But a lot of it is like if you look at this part, this is pretty much modularized because that's three city blocks and uh, yeah but three city blocks right so if i have another location like say this one then i would say all right this one then i take these three out this one would be where i take it out in order to build that thing for for this iron facility and that actually makes sense the only exception is that this one would like to have it uh, vertical instead of horizontal and this one would like to have it horizontal so we can't flip it that would again it wouldn't be, make that much of a difference would it because it will just be one to these six that I would need to take out you know what let's actually try that although we are starting to work on it from oh. yeah this one is just not doing anything meaningful, but uh, it's 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 here. Uh, let's see. And these are now replenishing the buffer chests as we've completed this build here. Okay. Right. The thing is, if we started to working on this on copper, then it, we kind of have to keep doing this on copper, and that means we need to find other locations in here that we can expropriate and work on now this is pretty massive build but it's also like way more effective so what if could we take this kind of not really because i have this part here right otherwise i could take these three these six would be pretty good like the fact that i can sort of imagine it as a but i can take it i can take this one yeah so let's do that let's do that as our test case to see how fast we can build this so the first thing I'm going to have to do is I am going to uh, that one. There. So that's replaced and I will need to get some workers over here and I'm going to need to get my own ass over there somehow. And this is now going in from the side, but it could go in, for example, also up here. It actually might be better to go in here. Oh, wow. Did I? Why did I not? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. How did I not see that? Huh. Why would I even build it like this? Let's, um... Let's take this part out. And then take all of this out as well. I'm just doing this so that it's my robots to pick them up. And I'll take that one reestablish. Would it be possible to get a T intersection here? 
Yes. Would it be possible to get up there? Yes. Uh, and... Then it would have to be... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's It's done. It's done. You're dead. We're not going to get anything inbound anymore. Oh, that's way better. So the first thing we do is we don't ruin the entrance. Because that will... Right now, the flow is still correct. They just come in here. It's all good. Look at that. Entrance still working. <clears throat> now we build a new... Exit on top of this. And then I will rotate this belt. Oh, this is going to be even better. Because I can build it. Well, almost. Uh, we're just going to build... Take this awfulness and just scoot it back a bit. Take this out. I love doing these kind of builds. So this will actually become as close as possible, as, as close as we can actually get to a real module of this, which is going to be really difficult because it incorporates stuff like that. But if we can build the rest of it as a module, damn, this is so much better. Wow. And you don't have any drones. That's fine. Oh, uh, this is also now exactly aligned with the top one. Man, so much better. There, and there. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything here. I'm gonna take this out because now we replace the other outbound because it doesn't serve a purpose anymore. I'm just not looking at my at the tracks. We know it's gonna happen at some point. Yep. And there's just the issue of this one. How far is that? Uh, so here's another little conundrum. There. Now this doesn't maybe maybe it doesn't really make sense, but yeah, it doesn't make sense. I want to make sure that by the time it passes here, there will always be room in this block for a full train. And there is, but there isn't a full block, train block between one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means it can go through this one and then get stuck here because it's waiting for something and then backlog in and then block this track. Don't like, don't like. Also, also this definitely should be There, and that one has to be there as well. So you are, oh, hold on. That's not gonna happen because this train is a two train, two track train, there, there. Okay, so this is a small train, so that will never happen. It'll go in here and then it'll be fine. All right, well that was, ah, oh, that man, that looks so much better. That looks so much better. Can we make it even better? Yeah, we can, because this one, wouldn't it be better if this was symmetrical? Yeah, symmetry is always good. Yeah. Yeah. Even better. Even better. Is it though? Well, yeah, it has this one has to be drawn here. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling that the whole thing could be moved two or four tiles. One, two, three, four. No, it can't. Not easily. Oh, actually it can. It can. All right. <laughs> I'm going to be moving it, move it a bit again. Uh, that means you are going to go over to this side. You are going to go over to this side. But that means it connects. So that's not happening. But I can do this one. One, two.
her. And that would have to be... Oh, okay, okay, okay. That actually... That was actually a problem with this anyway. So, one, two. There. Yes, so that's okay. A lot of this is... Seems a bit useless. Because it's just smaller things we are... We're working on. But I think in the grand scheme of things, we have something that will be... Much more useful. There. And this is now no longer connected. It's not connected to the outside. Yes. And I will need to make sure that it's connected back in here. So that this monitors how much it actually has. It says it has three. I don't know why it has three. There. Just need ten. Oh, it's now sixteen. Never mind. Now it's ten. Good. I just want 10 here. Okay, so this is now coming in, and this one will be open. And it'll go out here. And the whole enabler for this was that now I can make this turn like that. We're probably going to make a lot of small mistakes. Oops. Missing some signals, turning some belts or some rails around, that kind of thing. But in the, if we get the whole thing to work, then we have a very, very clean module here. That's a good module. Now this thing. Is it better? Yes. Why is it better? Well, it's better because it's now has the same symmetry as... One, two, three. Uh, one, two. Oh, no. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make any difference, this part. Oh, it does make a difference. There. It's... It has to be like that. Hmm. I don't know. This is, this is more aesthetic than it's anything else. So, right now, it doesn't make any sense to do this. But I like it. I like it anyway. And I think it's... This is one of those modules that we'll be using this a lot, I hope. So if we can get it to be really crisp, instead of every time I, I look at it, I'm going to be like, eh, I wish it was that just uh, this one was just shifted just a bit. All right, here we need a, a chain signal in and a chain signal in and a normal signal out and a normal signal out. There. Is that better? Now it has the same sort of spacing between rails and we're still missing probably a lot of signals, are we? Yeah, we're missing some signals here. We're potentially missing some signals here. So you are allowed to go in here and then block that, that's fine, because this is happening so rare that it doesn't really matter. This is coming in so rare that it, that's, that's why I'm making some signals that I wouldn't do normally. I would not do an intersection like this without having signals before, but I actually want this to be treated as one block and not as two blocks. You can put rail signals, yeah, 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 but I, I like it like this. So is it working though? Is it working? I think it is. Is it working at full speed? This one is not empty. Uh, is not here, and that's because we have ten trains. Uh, here I have. Oops. Whoa. <laughs> Debug mode. Yeah, you can see I messed up some trains, as you can see here. Oops. We'll we'll not talk about that. That is a beautiful, beautiful design, and it is totally ready to be implemented somewhere else as well. Here. Definitely right there. Let's implement it into this part. This is going to be like the standard, right? 
And let's see how it fits. Pretty damn well. All of this goes out. And then I can build that one instead. And with that being done, I should be having a accumulator in the way. Yeah, that's like, oh, that's right on top of that one. That's not the end of the world. We can, we can definitely survive that. How much do we take out here? And then I delete anything that this touches. Yes, like this. And up there. That's going away. And then this is the build. Uh, okay. And then we need to build something down here as well. Um, you're going to be busy, dear Roboport. Oh, dear Spider-Trons, you're going to be real busy. And down here, I am going to build the next part that will be here. The direct mining. I think the direct mining actually needs a slight update because now it actually has train stations as well. So I'm going to take a new update of this. Over here. It will look... Including the signals at the front and back. Perfect. And in this space... Please be wide enough. Please. It's wide enough. Yes, barely, but it is. 78, and this one has 144. Great. Go away. Yes, 70. And 118. This is looking good. This is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely. And that means we can also just use stuff like this part. I want to make it as modular as possible so that we can get it there, like this. There. Got it. These are not going to be correct. And... Yeah, I don't know where exactly that's... Oh, I can find out. I can find out if I just go here. And then take exactly this distance here. That's good. Have that. And this goes in. And then on the outside, I'm also going to just copy whatever I have. This part here. This will be... Good, and I think that's actually it. Wow. Wow, if <laughs> that's it, that is insane. Um, let's kill this part. We don't really need this, well we do, but we can live without it. Okay, I will hitch a ride on my own train. Uh, actually, I won't. Where can I get my own train? Okay, I can get my own builder train coming in here. You are going to go to... That location. And then I can wait here. And I can look at the spider -tons. Shift, shift. So, not surprisingly, the biggest issue is definitely going to be the modules. And I don't think we're making it. This is bringing all that it can in here. If we look at the area. So, there will be some things that the Spidertrons will have to make. Like anything that's inaccessible to something else. Oh, no. Oh, I'm also building station uh, trains here. That's not ideal. Ah, well. Um, I'm going to take my spider to my there, and I'll also get a 
Let's get the house robots working on this as well. T intersection. That's just that intersection there. Do we have it? Yes, we do. And I can now go over and help out because we really want to see that this whole damn thing is, is getting operational. There. So this one is working perfectly flawless, flawlessly perfect. And as we build up the next one, we're going to have more. So all of the white ones are going to service the Spidertrons. Good. Spidertrons will need to do some work here. Uh, there's some fueling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing we can really do about that until this comes in. And that's not coming in until we have this line done. Let's take that out. Should I make more? No, I shouldn't make more solar panels in the meantime, because even though I like to build more solar panels, and I probably could, then I want to have all of my construction drones allocated, dedicated to this build first and foremost. All of this is feeding the Spidertrons, so I would also imagine that everything that can be built now has been built by the house robots. Which actually means that I could do another round of that. There. Well, busy, busy. And... We'll go up and just build all of this line. There'll probably be some... Some build up here that... Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's the problem. All of this here is building this line. So that should be good. We have to unfortunately wait just a moment. Uh, come on. No, I'm not. I'm not the, the waiting type, especially at this time. That's how we build things fast. I got it. All right, I am going to probably focus on this part. Pretty sure that's gonna be the one that we're missing the most. I don't know if trains are starting to come in. They might actually. And we burned through every single one of our modules. That is insane. Oh, is there a problem here? There seems to be a problem. No, it's still disconnected and it should be. Good. That's insane. Okay, you go... Mm, what else are we missing here? Nothing much, actually. Some trains? Sure. You go back and replenish. And I'll just run around here and try to see if I can... Build some of the things that I'm missing. Speed modules. And... Power for the middle. There we go. And roboports. Why do we not have roboports? Oh, right. Roboports are not part of... Oh, this is going to be a bit more tricky because I can't build the roboports here because then they'll connect. So I have to build the roboports. I guess this is as close as we can make it. And the roboport on this side also. Maybe like that. Sure. Most important thing is that they are not connected. And then I'll connect it up to this location. Make sure that there's a power line. There. Now let's look at it like this. This is one network that for some reason has 12. That's okay. What are we missing? We are missing lots of modules. All right. Get in here, Spidertrons. Get in here. You've, you've gotten all you can. Now it's time for you to show your worth. 236 speed modules. That's not a problem to do that. It's just, do we have it out here? There we go. That should... Should be enough, I hope. Oh no, are we, are we seriously out of modules? Looks like it. What are we missing down here? More modules? Really? That's crazy how we're out of modules. But it's not actually surprising based on... Well... What we just built. Oh, look at that mess. Yeah, so much for Buffett just helping out. I'm not 
I'm not sold on this idea. I'm gonna leave it as it is because, yeah. Everyone thinks it's the panacea that just gets stuff done. Uh, why the hell are they not connected? That's making no sense. They are just fixing the uh, the power lines. All right, I am going to take my train. Please train, be useful. You have 126 mod uh, modules. That's that's something. Get in here. I'm going to go up there. And you useless spider-trons, go back in there. And hold on. How many trains do we have here for this location? Uh, that's... Now there are eight stations, but of course they're disconnected. So I have three here, so we're also going to need more trains. That's okay. I think I have... I can definitely build these trains. Let's build that. Train. Yes. One, two, three, four. Now they're being placed by house robots. That means they're going to be completely useless. All right. And over at this location, I can also take this kind of train. Off you go. They will hopefully go into the new locations. They should. That's good. And I can then build train loader again. Locomotives on the, in the way. I think that's fine. And I'm just going to build the last bits here. And then we should be good to go. That one, that one. You go away. More speed. That's all of that. Is it? Yes. And I'm running on tracks because I'm an idiot there. Alright, everything is working. Great. So all we need now is just a few more trains. And you can see the trains are already coming in here. The trains down there are not coming in. And why is that not the case? It's a great place to run. Why is this one not working? Is that even necessary? Uh, it's not necessary. And oh, wow. They are... Yeah, okay. They were set to manual. Of course they were. Obvious. And these are also manual. This part. If it's go, then go in. Do I have enough? No. That one. That one. As long as it has just one power here. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no. Don't you dare. Damn! Why is that? These trains man. These trains. Build that. And also that train also left. Oh my god, that's bad. There. <clears throat> and let's see. These are still missing some inputs and outputs. Why are we not getting... That's weird. Hopefully that's not a copy-paste error and just me being stupid here. I'm going to take that out because we actually have one and it's going to go in here and you can at least go in. We're probably going to have some trains that run out of fuel. That's just the way it is. But at least we can see that it's working and I am going to take a few more trains here and let's get... Where's my train loader? There. Let's 
So we at least have now six, six trains over here. And uh, basically we have, I have 16 stops and I think I just want one for each one. One for each will be just fine. And we of course have an acute lack of power and that's really what we are, uh, or power. So look here, that's going to be the last thing we do want to do. Where are you? Oh, stations. Station, station, stations. Where's the nuclear fuel? There we go, 70. I have zero trains allocated and two open stations. Only two open stations is not much. I know that one is open, so it should be getting it. Should, 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 right? This, 27. Okay. Um, Go out. Go out. There you go. I think that we uh, we are gonna call this done. I think it was what I what I do. <laughs> what I think was mainly the learning here is how fast we can build one. That's pretty cool uh, because it is actually a module here, and uh, you can build it. You can build a horizontal. You can build a vertical. The actual building of it is going to need a lot of modules, and it's going to need a lot of um, speed mod. Uh, no, a lot of beacons and a lot of fuel. That's kind of the one things, the two things we are running out of. So, but I think those those will just build up over time. I hope that this was useful, interesting, engaging, and all of that stuff. Uh, if you're still hanging around here after 46 minutes, thank you very much for that. And uh, I hope to see you in the next episode as we continue to build this up. And maybe we should also start working on uh, getting some steel or iron into this because that's actually the ones we are needing the most. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.